In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to enable DirectX 12 Ultimate in Windows 11. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to properly check if you have the ability to use DirectX 12 Ultimate and how to ensure that it is enabled by default. So first, what I recommend that you do is you press Windows plus R or you go into the Windows search tool and you look for run. By pressing Windows key plus R simultaneously on your keyboard, you will bring out the run window and now you can look for DXDIAG. So DXDIAG, short for diagnostic. When you look for DXDIAG and you click OK, give it some time and the DirectX diagnostic tool is going to open up. It is going to load all of your system information and this is important because if you switch over to the display window or you click next page, you will find the DirectX features including DirectX 12 Ultimate. If this says disabled for you, it could be because of various reasons, but mostly it comes down to the fact that your display adapter does not support DirectX 12 Ultimate. The harsh truth is that most DirectX 12 features should automatically be enabled by default, including DirectX 12 Ultimate. So if this has disabled, even though it could be because you are running an outdated display adapter, it, mo it mostly comes down to which GPU you have. As you can see, I have a modern AMD GPU, so this feature is enabled by default. This is also the case for most RTX GPUs. If you don't have a modern GPU, or something like one of the old GTX GPUs instead of RTX for NVIDIA, then unfortunately you will not have access to DirectX 12 Ultimate. While you can still try to follow the methods that I'm gonna present here, I want to make that obviously clear. It should be automatically enabled, so maybe consider that if you have older hardware, you won't be able to use this feature. But for manual troubleshooting, first go into the Microsoft website and look for DirectX. You will be able to run the setup to ensure that you have the latest version of DirectX. So accept the agreement, click next, and then just click next, 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 and eventually you will be done with the installation. Afterwards, restart your machine and check again. The next thing to update is your display adapters. So in the diagnostic tool, you can fly, find the name of the display adapter here. And all you have to do is go over to the NVIDIA or AMD website respectively to update the drivers. So for example, I have an AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So I simply have to select 7000 series, 7900 and then 7900 XTX. Once you are done downloading the drivers, once again, repeat the same process. Download the drivers, go through the installation, restart your computer, and check again. The same for NVIDIA. Select the series of GPU, the specific model, and update them. If it still doesn't work, then unfortunately, the truth is, like I said, you probably have older hardware, for example, the old GTX cards, or you have integrated graphics, and DirectX 12 Ultimate refuses to work on those types of hardware. It is going to be automatically enabled on newer hardware. I hope I was able to help you on how to enable DirectX 12 Ultimate in Windows 11. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.